Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Actually, today's Google Sheets and Google Forms video. We're going to discuss a very recent functionality that Google Forms has unveiled regarding to the tables and how does this makes our work easier when we connect Google Sheets and Google Forms. It's a really awesome feature and I'm going to show you how does this improve the workflow, especially if you work with forms and responses for forms taking them to sheets, this will help you a lot. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to download this and more than 150 templates from my channel and you want to have some support on the templates, you can go to the Patreon page. If not, just a subscription to the channel. It helps a lot. So thank you so much and special thanks to my Patreons. Without them, I would not be doing this. Thanks again and let's begin. We're going to create for now just a very, very basic form, basic customer enrollment. Let's hit tab and we can, if you click here, you'll get the same title for now and whatever. Actually with the first question maybe the email. So if we go to settings, responses, we can go to collect email addresses and just hit responder input. And if you go back to questions, you will see that the first question will be an email. And let's create the first question that will be name. So now we have email and we have name. If we go to responses, we're going to link it to sheets. And this is where magic will start to happen starting on September 2024. Let's create this new spreadsheet. No need to call it responses. Let's hit create. And if you've worked with forms before and you see this, you may get a bit scared and you're going to say, what is this? So this is the answers to many prayers of people that has worked with forms and sheets in the past. And I will show you why in this video. This is a table, a structured table. And if you want to know more about structured tables, please go to my video where I explain it. So I won't go into too much detail, but this is a new concept in sheets because in Excel it has been for a long, long time. But what this means, we, we've all, we always talk in sheets about cells, about columns, about rows, about sheets. But now we're going to start talking about tables because tables is a dynamic object that we can call by its name and has a lot of properties that work perfectly with forms. And again, we'll go, we'll go through all of them in the introductory video, but today I'm more concern about showing you how does this enhance the collection of answers from your forms. So let's do one. Let's review and let's write anything here and name one. Submit it. So um, up until here, nothing weird. Okay. So let's put some spice in this and make things more interesting. So let's talk about money. So in our questions, we're going to have income. So let's add a question and it will be for now, let's leave it open. And maybe we could a very quick validation. It's a number that's greater than zero. That's it. Let's go to the form. Let's do another one. And yearly income, let's put 25. And here we have 25. So to show you how this enhances things, first we're going to remove the table. So I'm going to hit here. So it's not that you always need to do tables. You can just revert to unformatted data as before if you are more comfortable with it. But I'm going to show you the advantages of this. So I'm going to take this column and apply a currency format. Okay. And now let's do another one. And here is what happened before. A lot of you that worked with forms before have suffered with this. So this is horrible. And the only way I had done it before was uh, using macros or something like that. Because even if you did, okay, let's try it again and let's reformat it. I know it will work. Let's cross our fingers and we submit it again. And, and this is when you swear. So. Let's go back to our table. If you reverted it and say, how do I make it back? It's very easy. Just go to format and convert to table. The trick here 
is that the format will come from this arrow that is not a filter, it's just the options of the column. So we're going to give edit column type, number, and currency. And now let's try it one more time. And voila. So this is the first big advantage that you don't have to worry about formats anymore. Just give the format here. Even if it's it works for dates, it works for currencies, it works for percentages. Important to know that even though the format is this, you could change it with basic modifications or more complex modifications. For example, once you've chosen in this example currency, then you can go to any of the values in the column and for, let's say we are going to remove the decimal point. Once you remove it to one of them, you're removing it to the entire column. This means that the next time I send a new answer, it will be in the same format without the decimals. But you could even go further and go here and create a very weird format with a hundred decimals or for example, here in custom number format, you could, for example, remove thousands with a comma if you want, and then put an, an M for millions. I'm, I'm just inventing here. But the thing is you could do a much more complex format. And then the next time a new answer comes, you'll have the format you want. But if you go here again to edit column type and choose again number currency, it will go to basic currency, but then the important thing to know is that you can then modify it doing uh, selecting one of the cells or the whole column without the header if you want and then do any modifications you want and it'll keep these modifications for the future for the entire row this is really really cool the second cool thing is the following let's say we have yearly income let's do another formula the most basic one we're going to convert this yearly income to monthly income so we could do two ways just start to write here in the column Let's do monthly income. It will automatically append it as a column of the row, or you could alternatively hear the plus and write. So the monthly income will be just this over 12. And that's it. So now, again, if you work with form before and with formulas, I, there may be even a video in the channel where you can do formulas and you need to do array formula and a complex. So let's see what happens if I add a new one. Submit and again, magic. So you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to do array formula, complex formulas, nothing. Just for having the formula in your entire column, the table automatically identifies and the next row it comes it will be part of the table which means it will have the format and it will have the formulas so hallelujah welcome this great great functionality for google forms now some of my videos will become useless but i don't care because this is great for users of forms and sheets so if you have any more questions please just let me know if you want us to do complex examples with this course we can do them and I know this is just starting we've got one or two months with this table feature I don't know in one or two years how I, I think we'll have a lot a lot more things coming our way so this is really cool and uh, Gemini is coming also our way so I know there are a lot of things that will help us be more productive in our work with sheets and forms and all that so thank you so much and a special thanks to all of my patrons without them I couldn't be I would not continue doing this. So thanks a lot. And if you want to become a patron, just go to the description below and you can download more than 150 templates and ask me anything you want and more features coming soon. See you next time.